Starbucks. You getting a puff cup? So I just got some new stuff in the mail. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. This box is from Bellamy, which is like a makeup and skincare company. My friend sells it. So let's open it up. Got my knife here. So this is what it looks like inside the box. Let's see what we got. Wait, what all did, did I get more than I thought? All right, no, so I got one, two, three. Okay, no, I. this is everything I got. I thought I, I might have got like a little surprise gift in here or something, but nope, I actually ordered all of this. So first they were having a deal. They were having like a foundation, concealer, and lippy deal for $49. So I thought that was a heck of a savings. So I went ahead and did that. I've tried some of their skincare stuff, but I've never tried their makeup. So I'm super excited. This is their foundation. It's supposed to be like super lightweight coverage and just look and feel really, really natural. I got a shade seven, which I hope it's not too dark. I was going to get a six and I was also recommended to get a six, but I was looking at my spray tan and I was like, you know, I'm a seven, I'm a seven. So we'll try it out. I'm pretty sure I can return it or exchange it if it is too dark, but I'm so excited. It just has like this little pump so you can pump it out. All right next is the concealer. I got a darker shade so I could just contour with it instead of concealing with it. So. This is what this looks like. Mine's in the shade nine. The smell reminds me of like Clinique. Like I remember being really, really young and doing my mom's makeup and playing with her makeup and everything smelled exactly like this. It's like that super makeup-y smell. I don't know, just smells like paint. Um, next for the lippy, so for the deal, you could actually choose any lippy that they had on their entire site, whether you wanted a lipstick, gloss, liner, whatever you wanted, you could get it. So I just got their moisturizing lip gloss in clear. Ooh! This is what it looks like. I'm super excited for that. Super excited. You know, let's just go ahead and put some on right now. Right? It may as well. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells like something from literally the early 2000s, 90s, I don't know. So familiar, it's so familiar. It smells so good to me right now, like probably just because it's bringing back, you know, little kid memories, but it's just making those endorphins go up when I smell it. Um, okay, also I got the 4-in-1 Hydrating Mist infused with, I don't know what this word is, uh, baobab oil. I don't know, but it's supposed to prime, set, condition, and protect. This is what it looks like. Let's see how the mist is. The mist is always like, a make or break like if it comes out in like heavy droplets or if it comes out in a nice even mist let's see Ooh, that's a nice even mist feels very refreshing it smells very refreshing as well it kind of smells lemony i don't know if that's the right scent or not it's kind of citrusy yeah really refreshing very refreshing Love it. All right, and then last I also got the illuminating primer with the same baobab oil. What is this? How? 
Baobab? Is it Baobab? I don't know, but it sounds like you want it. So this is supposed to make your skin super, super dewy and like obviously illuminating. You can wear it either like on its own or you can mix it in with your moisturizer or foundation. Begin with a fresh cleanse and moisturized face. Apply a dime sized amount evenly with hands or brush. Allow a few minutes to set, apply foundation for a natural hydrated glow, wear it solo, or even mix with your foundation for a natural sheer finish. But that is everything I got from Bellamy. All right, so here's a little swatcheroo of the foundation. It does feel nice and light. I really like it. Here it is on my hand. I should have done this one first, but here's a little swatcheroo of the primer. How's this come out? Oh, oh my gosh. I did not want to use that much just for a swatch, but here's the primer. Should I put it on my face? Let's just put it on my face right now. Why not? Okay, so next item I got is called the High Tail. This is for my motorcycle helmet. It's supposed to keep my hair all like nice and tucked up under my helmet. I never let my hair just like flop around in the wind because the tangles would just be like out of control. So I always braid my hair and then put it inside of my jacket and have it all like super tucked away so i'm very excited to try this out i'll take it out for you guys so it's just like this little net that goes on the bottom of your helmet so it's got these little like adhesives right here these go on the sides of your helmet and then this is the net that your hair goes in so once it's on the helmet it goes like pretty taut like that and then your hair just goes in here. So let me get my helmet. This is my riding helmet. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. But basically this little guy is going to go on the back of it. Like, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm trying to hold it with my chin. But it goes on the bottom just like this. And then I don't have to braid my hair. And then once I take my helmet off my head, my hair just falls beautifully right out of the bottom of it. So I do have to get that installed. It comes with like this little primer glue so that it has extra strength to hold it on because it's got like these little 3M stickies, but they tell you to also use the primer first. So your little 3M guys come off at, like unattached to this and then you'll put these on the helmet and then you just slide this on when you're wearing it and then when you're not using it, you would wanna slide it back off of these guys so that you don't just have the tension on them all the time. teach you guys a very useful hack. If you need to carry a lot of things and you don't have a lot of hands to carry them, what you need to do is take your shirt and make a little basket, okay? Start putting all your items in your little shirt basket, like so, all right? I'm still not done, I still have more to carry. Got my hairbrush. And here is what it looks like. You're like a little kangaroo, so carry as much as you need. Feel free to use this tip anytime. You're welcome. I'm getting ready to go get my nails done. Here's what they look like right now. They're just like super grown out. It's gonna have you guys drive with me, but I've got nowhere to set my camera and I do not have time to figure it out. So I'll just see you guys there. All done. They're just so cute.
that I had never taken off. I feel like I really want to make one of these little smiley face granny squares and use it as a coaster in my office because I mean it's adorable and I could definitely make that. Okay so I have a ton of yarn in here. Alright so this is what we're working with. I think for now I'm just going to do like the classic yellow and white smiley face with like a black outline for the face. Also, look at how cute my case for my MacBook looks on my bed. Oh my gosh, love it. So cute. I do not crochet often at all anymore, like maybe once a year. <laughs> so this is my yearly craft that I'm making. These nails are making it difficult. I did make a really beautiful top one time. It was like during COVID. I'll show you guys a little picture or a video or something of that, but it's really, really cute. I'm really proud of it. Oh, also I did just order some new low rise baggy denim from White Fox. So it's actually supposed to be delivered today. So I keep stalking the tracking to see if it's here. I'm so excited. But I ordered the jeans a size up. I'm usually like, I can usually swing like an extra small or a small, either one work for me. But I ordered mediums because I wanted them to be like extra baggy. But now I'm like so scared that they're going to be too big, like in the waist at least. I don't know. I don't know. There's like some yarn or something stuck to my lips. I got a new seat for the bike, for the motorcycle. The old one was like super, super stiff and skinny and so uncomfortable. Like I could not ride anywhere on that thing. So we got a new one, just picked it up today. I feel like, so I'm supposed to do one more round for the circle. But I feel like I want it to be this size because I'm going to use it for a coaster. I'm not like, usually granny squares are kind of like big for a coaster. So I don't know how to do this though because the pattern that I'm using is specifically for another round. Ooh, maybe instead of doing a double crochet around it, I could do like maybe like a half double crochet or something. Okay, this is going to be like a huge coaster. Oh well, oh well, it'll be a cute little smiley face. Who's gonna be mad about that? Not me. We're switching colors. So, let me cut that. Okay, here's how it's looking so far. 
I think I just have one more round on the outside and then we'll put the smiley face in. Oh yeah, so I'm super excited for my Halloween costume. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Lana Del Rey at all, but she was seen working at Waffle House in Florence, Alabama. She was wearing a uniform and everything. She wasn't actually working there. I think the story was she was eating there and then the workers like offered her a uniform and asked if she wanted to like serve some food up or something. So I'm going to dress up as Lana Del Rey working at Waffle House for Halloween. I'm so excited. I actually got a Waffle House uniform t-shirt like the real deal off eBay. I did go to Ikea and get a new clothing rack because I needed to hang all of my jeans up. They're getting out of control. Like I have them in like these nice stacks in my closet, but every time I need to get a pair out, I have to like go through every pair because I don't know which pair is which and then the sacks fall over, they get out of control. It's just not a good system. It's not good. So I need to hang all of my jeans up just like they're in a store. I'm actually really excited so I got to put that together. Alright, let's snip that off. So there's what it looks like. jeans situation it's terrible so yeah we're gonna hang all of them up also this is how I store my crop tops I just have like this bar and my closet door and I hang them all on there I had another one right here uh, all of those clothes were hanging up on it but it fell because it's adhesive so I do have to put that bar back up and hang all those clothes back up but that is a great solution for anyone looking to make some more closet space. Also, I have the same situation for all of my winter hats and headbands on the other door. So if you live where it's cold, this is the most convenient thing ever. I just have like these little clips, like, whoop, see a little clippy. I clip my hat up there, good to go. All right, I've got this one hung back up, so Hopefully it does not fall down again. The mediums were way too big, so here they are, all packaged up, ready to go. Back to White Fox, unfortunately. Here's all of my jeans hung up. I think this is going to be so, so helpful when I'm getting dressed and just looking for what I'm going to wear because I can see the entire jean super easily. This is definitely set up in my office, by the way. So my husband pointed out that this is now the third room in the house that is taking up my clothes. Just means I need a bigger closet when we move. Okay, so this is what I have for my costume so far. This is the Waffle House uniform shirt that I got from eBay. Um, perfect because it's the exact same one that Lana is wearing. And then I got this name tag from this website. I basically just customized it to look like this. I tried to make it look as close to the one that she was wearing as possible. And then I just have this little black skirt with shorts from Amazon. These are the tennis shoes I'm gonna wear because that's what I have. Oh yeah, and then I also have hoop earrings and a claw clip for my hair and 
I think I'll be set. Oh yeah, except for the blue vape. She has like this bright blue vape. I'm gonna get one of those. So then I'll be set. Here it is. I know that she has hers untucked, but mine just does not look as cute as hers looks untucked. So I'm going to tuck mine in. Got my little hoops in, my hair clipped up, my name tag. I love it.